morning lottie plotters back again weather's a bit dry today um i'm not going crazy today because i'm a bit shattered so i'm going to go around we're going to have a plot tidy up move stuff around i've got some bags of uh, manure dotted around the side so i'm going to get them all in the compost bin and i'll show you in the pond we've got frog spawn which i'm really pleased about um when i get home i'll show you the one at home as well but as you can probably hear i've got the kettle on we'll have a brew and then we'll right then let's have a bit of a tidy up it's weird, really squidgy, I don't know if you can see from that angle on my path. Really, I'm going to get in here shortly and give it a wee. If I did, because it's so wet. Let's get a bit of this weeding done. I don't want to try and not to scrunch on too much. Just give it a bit of a hoe. Get some of these bigger weeds out. Probably easy just to pull them out. Um, yeah, yeah, we've had some rain, haven't we, this last few weeks, and it's just just horrendous. Yeah, because when I first got it, I dug it over, and then uh, I had my onions in here. So I gave it a good uh, onions and leek. Um, what can we talk about leeks? Parsnips. I had some good parsnips out of this actually. So I'm just giving it a whoop. Last year's tag. Cardboard. The bloody, bloody left them. Oh, what do you call it? Brambles. I stomp him round on it because otherwise it takes all my hard work out of what I've done so what I'll do is I'll just do this and then I'm not going to touch it till we've dried out a bit well that makes the bed a lot, a lot cleaner happy with that right and let's have a little tidy up in here this bed's not too bad actually. None of them really are, but get these tops out. Give it a bit of a hose. I've got to get into the habit of taking my tags out when I take the crops up. Because I keep like a naughty keep leaving them in and I don't want all the plastic leaving in the plot and I can take them over and wash them. These are marigolds. So yeah, I tell you what I've got. The pond this morning was ridiculous. The amount of frogs that was mating, you could hear them yesterday afternoon, but this morning, oh my lord, when I was sat in the extension having a coffee, I could see them all. Like me. I mean, I always get quite a lot of frog spawn anyway in my pond. But uh, I said as well that I've got frog spawn in my pond up here. Especially because it hasn't been in here. Oh, look at that, that's better. This has got to be the worst bed. But it was the very first bed I dug out. It has been horrendous. I think it just needs a good sort out. I've still got some cab um, spinach in. What I might do is I might move weed and then move them along so they're all together. I don't even know what spinach it is. Let me have a look. <laughs> That's a bit oh nice. I don't know, I didn't write what it was, I just wrote Popeye for spinach. <laughs> so that's helpful. But um, I'm going to weed over here, 
move those and give this a good sort out. As I say, this is where I had my potatoes last year. And at the end of the season, I, when the potatoes come out, I just stuck a few. I had French beans in down there. The dwarf kind. Not growing them in the ground again. Oh my lord. That broke my back trying to get to eat, um, harvest them. Where's that come from? Um, yeah, there was just... There's just too little. I was expecting them to be little, but not quite as little as they were. And uh, like I say, it absolutely killed me, yeah. Harvesting them. So I think next time, if I do the dwarf French beans, I'm going to do them in containers. I've got some big grey boxes. Um, Tampons. So I think what I'll do is I'll do that. Like I say, they, they absolutely broke my back to harvest last year. Brambles are getting easier and easier to pull out each time I... Just when you think you've got them all. So I was quite lucky that the council had uh, mowed it all back, but unfortunately didn't get, didn't do any digging, they literally just mowed it back, I mean, I'm thankful for that. Give you a little show when I've done. Right, I'm going to move these uh, spinach. I'm going to put them in a row here. I've decanted some chicken manure pellets into there, and I'm just going to. Oh, a couple of taters. Honestly, I didn't very, do very well getting my taters out last year, did I? Another one. What the hell have we got going on here? Size of that bugger. Oh, it's got dinner. Right, anyway. Oh, what the hell? There's another tape. At this rate, I'm going to have Sunday dinner. Anyway. Put a couple of chicken in here and pellets in there. Because I'm moving them. lost anything if uh, if they don't take a leave you sign that says Popeye on it um. <sighs> how many cases I find here oh there's another bloody one not Oh my lord. And another one. <laughs> Guess who's going to have a lot of taters sprinkling up here then? <laughs> right. They'll do this. If, if they take, they take. If they don't, I'm not going to cry. But... At least they're out of the way, because I want sweet corn in here this year, and my pumpkins. But, uh, yeah. Oh, can you hear it? The kettle's on. I'm going to have a brew. Uh, and maybe have jacket takers for tea. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get all these black bags. I've got um, manure in. And I'm going to make like a faux wall at the front of my empty compost bin. And I'm actually going to leave the manure in the bag. Um... My reasoning is, at least we can mature them in there and then uh, I can fill up the bed a little bit and then when I've got a decent amount of like waste in there with grass and hedge clippings and everything else and weed pulling I'll empty some on top of it and then at least then I've got a bag of many ways just to keep tipping on, tipping on for a few goes that lay, layering up the compost in 
Right, first I'm going to start shifting these bags and then uh, you can watch me do that because they're not light. In fact, I might get the wheelbarrow. Let me life a little bit easier. Hang on. Got my barrow. Oh my word. YouTubers, you've gone over. I didn't weigh you down. Sorry about that. You went for a little uh, spin round the plot then. Ooh. As I was saying, I like to keep all my bricks and stuff in one area, and uh, then I know at a quick glance where they all are. They are possibly going to move because I've got a see. I've got an old blue water barrel that I'm going to cut in half and grow carrots in and I think where the bricks are kept is where I'm going to um, have my carrot pot but we shall see plans change all the time back in a sec right then let's move these back to the oh I'm happy with progress today I don't think I've done as much filming as I think I have Mode. Right, as you can see, I've just put these bags down here of uh, manure. What I'm going to do is I've got some rabbit bedding to chuck in there. And uh, what I'll do is I'm just going to start this one. Although that one's not full, a lot of that is almost ready and the second bin is almost ready to use. So instead of keep topping that one up, I'm going to start on this one, chuck in my rabbit bedding. And then uh, this can be the bed for the, this year's compost. Do you have a rabbit? And a weekly clean out or two weekly, once a month, twice a week clean out. What I'll do is I'll just chuck all this in here. Make a start, and there's the more stuff I've got to put in it, the better. I'm going to get a bucket of water and just chuck that on there so it's nice and wet so we don't have anything living in it. Don't you grab a bucket of water? There you go. Might have another one. What I'll do now is I dump my uh, wheelbarrow in here. Just eat it. And then I'll cover it up. But you don't need to see that. Let me move you out of the way. And uh, put the compost bin back together. Right then. Let's get this put back together. Covered it up. Put the front back on. And then I'll show you the pond in a minute. That goes there. I like that on the top, just to stop the water going in the handles in the wheelbarrow. Put this bogger back on the front. There we go. I've had a little tidy up. That bed's all ready. That bed's mulched. That one's been hoed. Tidy and ready. These. My neighbour gave me these last year. And she says to me, do you want them? And I was like, oh, they're going to be perfect because I am absolute sod for putting stuff down on my plot and not fighting it. So now I make a conscious effort of hand trowels, little spades, forks, gift tags, anything in there when I'm working. When I've done, mobile phone, drink. And I've got two. I've got that one. 
or another bedlock all lovely and then i've got another one over there where the beans are and what i tend to do is whatever bed i'm working in in the summer or i'm planting out i take one of those around with me put my bits in so i don't lose them so if i do forget where they are there's a little spade decoration with all my bits in let's go and have a little nosy in the pond so i've got tidy up in there i think i don't know if this is going to work right down the middle of there I'm going to save my parsnips because they're in for such a long time and that's dead space. So I'm thinking in between my broad beans or my beans, stick a row of parsnips there and a row of parsnips there. And uh, they're out of the way. They're not going to be bothering anybody. And uh, we should have some nice parsnips again this year. But pond, the pond, cannot believe... frogs born in our first year there's all sorts of little things swimming around in there i did see a huge frog in here earlier so i'm hoping that we might get some more frogs born when i get home when we get home i'll take you out to the pond at home and have a look in there and uh, show the frogs born in that one it looks a bit green around the edge so i'm going to get some treatment in it soon but it is friendly to the wildlife so don't panic that if i bung a load of stuff in and it all goes white all it'll do is eat the algae right i'll do my goodbyes back at home see you in a minute there's a right mug stuff going on look at them buggers and then i've got all the frog spawn i think is there three frogs there i think there's a right fight going on so yeah looks lovely it's quite a bit of frog spawn look but uh, there's some very aggressive mating going on there with the looks of it the sun is very bright remember like subscribe and share and we'll crack on with it next week thanks for watching bye you little madam we're never going to have any pond plants if you're going to keep eating them. She'll be in there swimming if you're not careful. <laughs>